What a design to make account will do for you. Your account will keep track of your future purchases. They will be available for you to re-download any time when you need them. Your account will give you access to any free or bonus content that is only available to design and make account holders. While logged into your account, any previous purchases will be grayed out so that you'll not accidentally repurchase them. If you're an Aspire user and are logged in while browsing the store, any models that have been included in your Aspire software will be identified. This feature will be rolled out to vCarve Pro and desktop users in the near future. To get your account set up, you'll need to visit our store at store.designandmake.com. Look to the top right of your screen and you'll see the word account. Click on the arrow to its right and select Sign Up. Enter your first and your last name. Select the file type that you're most likely to select when you purchase a project or a model. V3M is what you should choose if you have Vectric Aspire, VCarve Pro, VCarve Desktop, Design and Make Machinist, or 3D Machinist. STL is a standard file format for most 3D models. Most CNC software can use this file type and it's also useful for 3D printers. If .rfl is not available for our project, you can use this in your ArtCam software. PNG files are grayscale bitmaps of models that can be used in software that can convert grayscale bitmaps into 3D reliefs. If you own a CarveWrite, this is the file format for you. .rlf is for ArtCam. Choosing your email address is an important part of your design and make account setup. If you've previously purchased VectorArt 3D models or design and make projects, we will attempt to migrate those over to your new account. Please be sure you read the red text and choose the one that best suits you. If your files do not migrate over like you expect, please contact support at vectric.com and they can sort it out. If you do not have access to the email address you use to purchase past projects or models, use your current email address. After you have completed the sign up process, send an email to support at vectric.com explaining the issue. Be sure to include your name, current email address, and old email address. Next, choose a password for your account and re-enter that password. One of the last steps you'll need to do is answer these three quick questions. Please answer them to the best of your knowledge. After you have read the terms and conditions, please click the box so that you can continue with the sign up. Once you click the blue sign up button, you'll be sent an email to the above email address asking you to verify your account. After you have verified your account, you'll be given access to all the benefits of a design and make account next time you log in. Once you have set up and verified your account, then you can go back to store.designandmake.com, to the account button up in the upper right hand side of the screen, use the drop down menu to select login. Enter in your email address and your password and then click the sign in button. Once you have successfully logged in, you'll see that the account button has been changed to hi and your first name. And also, the contents of the drop-down have been changed to view account and log out. As soon as you log in, you're brought directly to your account information. Your account information currently has three tabs, your orders, your details, and free projects. Under the your orders, if this is your first time logging in after you've migrated your content, you should see all of your past purchases from designandmake.com and vectorart3d.com. You can scroll through those. And if for some reason you need to re-download any of these, you can go ahead and use the arrow to the right hand side, click the drop down, click the download button, and then choose which file type you'd like and click download. Let's go back to my account. Under your details, this is all of the details that we have for your account. And in my case, I have Aspire. And that's important to note. You can also edit this information if you'd like, if you'd like to change 
your first last name, preferred file type, your version of Aspire, your email address, and your password. If you're not currently using Aspire, then this won't show. Under your free projects tab, any free content that's available to you will be here for easy download. Seeing as I'm logged into the store now with my account, there are a few things that have changed in the store that we'd like to point out to you. If I search all products for horse, I'll be presented with the results page of my search. This is a mixed results page and you'll see that there's projects listed and there's also individual models listed that are tagged with the word horse. If you see in the upper right hand corner of the thumbnail a red Aspire logo that means that this was included in my install of Aspire. And if you remember, back in my account, I had told the store that I have Aspire 8.0. Now if I go ahead and search the store for Celtic, then you'll see that the first Celtic project, Celtic frame number one, has been grayed out. That means that I've already purchased it and can download it from my previous orders. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please contact us using the Contact Us link found at the bottom of any store page. To keep on top of what's happening at Design & Make, please sign up for our newsletter. Thanks for watching.